The Life of Santa Rosalia, Patron Saint of Palermo Santa Rosalia, born around 1030 during the Norman rule of Sicily, lived a life deeply rooted in faith and devotion. A daughter of Duke Sinibaldo of Quisquina del Rose. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. She grew up in the royal court of King Roger II in the Palazzo dei Normanni. Though surrounded by the opulence and influence of the court, Rosalia's heart was set on a different path, one of humility and spiritual commitment. When Count Baldwin, a guest at the palace, saved King Roger from a wild lion, the king offered him any reward. Baldwin, captivated by Rosalia's beauty, requested her hand in marriage, but Rosalia, unwavering in her devotion to God, refused. The very next day, she cut off her long blonde hair, a symbol of her renunciation of worldly life, and declared her desire to become a nun. She first sought refuge in the convent of the Basilian nuns in Palermo, but soon found that even there she was not free from the pressures to marry. Desperate for peace, Rosalia fled to the solitude of Mount Quisquina and later to Mount Pellegrino, where she lived in a cave for the rest of her life, dedicating herself entirely to prayer and contemplation. Rosalia's life of solitude and prayer resonated with the people of Palermo, especially during a devastating plague three centuries later. Her intercession was believed to have saved the city, and she became its beloved patron saint. Her life echoes the words of Psalm 91 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Her unwavering faith and sacrifice inspire Christians to seek a deeper relationship with God, trusting in His protection and love. Saint Rosalia's life is a testament to the power of faith, the beauty of a life devoted to God, and the strength found in spiritual solitude. As St. Augustine once said, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Rosalia found her peace not in the grandeur of the court, but in the quiet presence of God, a lesson that continues to inspire the faithful today. May God bless and answer us through the prayers of St. Rosalia, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.